Live from your local news source, this is ABC 27 News at 5. Good evening, I'm Alicia Richards. I'm Valerie Pritchett. The CDC says most healthy Americans can safely take a break from wearing masks. New guidelines suggest in areas where there is a low or medium COVID threat at hospitals, people can't stop wearing masks. This includes several counties in the mid-state. Adams, York, and Lancaster counties have low transmission. Franklin, Perry, Cumberland, Dauphin, and Lebanon counties have medium transmission. Junietta and Mifflin have high high transmission, and that is where the CDC says people should still wear masks in public indoor spaces. The CDC is also still recommending masks for people who test positive or have COVID symptoms. The new guidance also does not change a requirement to wear masks for public transportation. Today, the State Department of Health announced that we are moving into a new phase of the pandemic. Sonica Bargo joins us now to explain what exactly that means, Sonica. Alicia, Valerie, the message from Acting Secretary of Health Kira Klein-Peter is COVID isn't going away, but we're on the right track and could start taking a few more risks. The COVID-19 pandemic in Pennsylvania looks very different than just a few months ago. Case counts are at their lowest since last August. Acting Secretary of Health Kira Klein-Peter says it's not the end, but the CDC relaxing its mask guidance is a very good sign. I expect then um, our Department of Health recommendations will follow the CDC's. She says vaccination is still the best way to prevent infections. Getting your shots when we're in this lower uh, case count phase is, is actually a really good choice. In this new phase, people have to decide how much risk they want to take. If you're a young, healthy, vaccinated person, you can clearly take more chances. UPMC infectious disease specialist Dr. John Goldman says we should expect new variants, but they won't necessarily cause a surge. Those breakthrough infections tend to be less severe if you have pre-existing immunity. After two years of the pandemic, Goldman says the future looks bright. I think we see a light at the end of the tunnel. I don't think that light is a train. And I think we're on our way to having COVID become a endemic disease that looks much more like the flu. Klein Peter would not say we're in that endemic phase yet. She said the Department of Health is following the World Health Organization, which is still calling COVID-19 a pandemic. In the studio, Sonica Bargo, ABC 27 News.